Okay. Uh, can you all hear me? Yeah. Excellent. Right. Uh, I'm going to introduce the next speaker two weeks before the uh, Hell's Grannies from Rustlings Road were arrested. Uh, I, when I first arrived on the scene, I met with the police liaison team just across the road here and I asked them who was in charge, they told me that, I asked them how many policemen were involved, they said 22, he didn't have to think about it, he'd been well versed, the council put out a statement saying there were 12 police involved, there were 22 police involved, he went on to say this is a Sheffield City Council led operation, don't let them try and lie to you or back out now. Okay, two weeks before they came to take these trees, we had the incident on Marden Road in Nether Edge, where a tree that had been lovingly protected over a number of weeks, three previous attempts to fell it had been uh, fought off by people standing under the tree until they turned up with this legislation. Here's another weird thing. On the morning they actually came to fell it, well before the police turned up, the uh, piece of paper with the appropriate legislation on it under which people were being threatened with arrest was handed to protesters by the leader of the felling team from Amy, not the police. Surely there's a question there to be answered, talking about how well prepared they were for this operation. There were two people arrested that day, Calvin Payne and Simon Crump. I'm going to now invite Simon Crump to come and make the next speech. Simon Crump, everybody, is a hero. Um, it's not a speech. Um, I'm, going to keep this, I'm going to keep this very brief, okay? Um, as you know, me and Calvin, Calvin's over there somewhere, got nicked on the 2nd of November. Um, we're in court on, I'm going to forget this, Thursday the 1st th um, at 9.30. So if you could come down to that, it'd be great. As I say, I don't want it to be like my 40th birthday party again where nobody turns up. Um, <laughs> I would um, also like to thank everybody who's funded our legal costs. Um, so it's quite interesting watching the total go up. It's like a kind of popularity contest in a kind of very weird way. But thank you, thank you very much for that. Um, I think the last thing to say really is it's obviously about the trees but the law that we've been charged under um, has much wider implications now. Basically if we get nicked on Thursday it's the end of our right to peaceful protest. Not just about trees but about anything else. And the last thing... Um, the last thing I'd like to say is I've, I've seen all sorts of rubbish on social media uh, I've seen stuff from Louise Hay, I've seen stuff from Councillor Lodge implying that we were charged because there was violence. Uh, I think I'd just like to say that the most offensive thing about um, the whole business on the on 2nd of November was probably the jacket that I was wearing. Um, <laughs> there was no violence, I'd really like to stress that. And anyway, thank you very much. Okay. Great. Um, it's been a, a really, really difficult time in Sheffield for the last 18 months or so and um, I've been involved from the beginning. You'll remember the tree camp over there with Calvin Payne and Helen McElroy were both camping out to protect the rustling rose trees and it turns out that they had the right idea because they, it, we did need someone here in the middle of the night. Um, you know, it actually came, it actually happened. And um, yeah, we're all incredibly shocked about it. And um, you probably, you've also heard from Simon about the Marden Road arrest too. That was shocking. So on the third time that um, Amy came to cut the tree down, um, they uh, actually, as you've heard, their police came as well and, and actually arrested two men, Calvin Payne and Simon Crump. And they're going to be uh, in the magistrate's court on the 1st of December. And I hope you'll all come and support us. We're having a rally at nine o'clock outside the Magistrates Court at Castle Street. So I'd invite you all to come down. Um, Natalie Bennett is very sorry. She's the former leader of the Green Party. She's very sorry not to be here today. She had a long-standing engagement in Birmingham, but she's going to be at the rally on Thursday morning, speaking about the importance, the right of peaceful protest, 
and uh, opposing those trade union laws that the guys have been arrested under because it's just extremely anti-democratic and well we just know it's just utterly utterly wrong um, uh, solicitors told us that the chances of any kind of uh, uh, criminal conviction are nil so I hope that she's correct about that because it's very worrying otherwise um, I'd encourage you all to keep on writing to councillors I know I've had loads and loads of emails from people uh, expressing their distress and also to the MPs um, it's very worrying I got a letter from Louise Hay recently suggesting well not suggesting she said that she was um, aware of genuine criminal behavior by tree protesters and this was extraordinary I've been at a lot of these things and uh, you know participated in nonviolent direct action under the trees and it's always very good-natured people you know we get along with the Amy guys we're very respectful to them you know Calvin Payne he's uh, done a lot of that work and he knows that and Helen and they know them on a first name basis you know it's like it's very friendly and so this uh, they're trying to basically um, set rumours about, you know, that idea that uh, the more that you tell a... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Um, yeah, the more that you tell a lie, the more it can seem to become the truth, you know, that, that if you tell it often enough, it becomes the truth. And so I want you to all, anyone who speaks to you, any, if you have any contact with people and they say that, oh, you know, those true protesters, they've been doing the wrong thing, you know, I want you to set them straight. You must be, must be, uh, you know, assure the people we are peaceful protesters. And what we'd love to see is when, when there's a, f a call goes out f to, uh, to, let, uh, to alert people the tree is um, in danger of felling, if more and more of you could come out, like if we could get this many people turn up when they come for the next tree, that... We, I want us to, you know, I want you to, if you can all come out, and I know that you've got work and lots of commitments and getting the children to school, I know how hard it is, but if you can try to, a lot harder to turn up um, to when there's an emergency call out, that would be fantastic, because I think the council, if we start seeing like 30, 40 people under a tree, it's just going to make a big difference, and I think that they will have to come to the table then. We need to renegotiate this contract. To, I just don't believe that this thing is set in stone and cannot be changed. It has to be changed because we're not happy about it. It's not good for the environment. I get so, so frustrated hearing them trot out the same lines that we fell a tree, but we replant another one. It's just not the same. It takes a sapling decades. Like, it's, you know, I'll be, you know, dead and gone before the saplings that they're planting now will be providing anything like the environmental amenities that a mature tree can provide already. It's absolute nonsense to cut them down when they're providing such a good job for us. You know, all the oxygen, the absorption of water. We've got the flood prevention program happening at the moment and they're proposing to fell a massive number of trees. I don't know if you're aware of it, if you've read about it, but it's just, it's just really shows a lack of joined up thinking. It's, it, they're not considering the consequences properly at all. It's, potentially a, you know, a bigger disaster. I've probably hugged this mic long enough now, but I just, I just want, I want you to know that the Green Party, um, we've played a very low-key role. We think it's important to, to support grassroots organizations in leading the way, because if the Green Party come out and try to say too much about it, it just puts Labour in a position that they can't back down. We want to encourage Labour to see that they can back, that they can reconsider and still maintain their dignity, which is a bit hard at the moment. <laughs> but you know, we we have to to collaborate and and show willing to to assist them. I'd be very very happy to do whatever I can um, to help to rethink this strategy. And um, it would be really lovely if the Labour Party were able to collaborate more and we all work together to to make Sheffield and Sheffield's people satisfied with the situation that they have around the trees. They, Sheffield people deserve to keep their trees and to have, have a, a good environment where we're... <laughs>
Well, we get to retain our mature trees and not have them cut down. Thank you very much.